Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a little progress on the project here with Open Media Vault and this um, awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3550 Model 4 which is running Open Media Vault and is connected to these two well actually it's only connected to this one at the moment but it's also going to be connected to this one and I've been replacing the drives in um, well in both of these last time we were here this all had 600 gigabyte SAS drives in there they are now out and um, up here I have been uh, connecting uh, 3 terabyte SAS drives these eh, very nice IBM 3 terabyte SAS drives uh, so there is there is a 12 10 10 10 and the rest is 3 terabyte drives so there is 20 times 3 terabytes so this there's 60 terabytes here and there is 42 terabytes here so I guess that might be 102 terabytes um, I am also going to be putting in 3 terabytes in this one it's tedious work so that's why I've only I've already gotten to half of it because well first I had to take all of the 600 out and then I, I kind of like this look more than this look mm, it might just be me that is boring but I kind of like these IBM trays so um, and they fit just as well so I've been putting those in um, I cut myself on a Hewlett Packard tray because I'm taking the the IBM discs here out of the uh, Hewlett Packard trays and putting them into the IBM trays which is really very fitting as this is an IBM disc and it's now going in an IBM tray and then in a NetApp box so 24 times 3 down here that ends up being about is that 72 that's 72 terabytes down here and 102 up here it ends up being a decent amount of storage so let's proceed with work on this so all the 600 drives are sitting over here so I just been out buying boxes I like these boxes they are cheap that's why I like them and um, it can hold 24 drives it's awesome so yeah these are 600 gigabyte and they're SAS drives from Seagate so they go in this box I have already put them up for sale so um, bring them out of here and there is room for three rolls and there is room for eight in each roll so uh, this is perfect for this oh wait I, I only have 20 of these so okay I thought I had 24 there perfect so I'm taking the three terabytes out of these trays uh, which I have put in there myself um, and it's kind of tedious work and this it's this metal here that I cut myself on it's, it's razor sharp uh, I take a take like three drives and I put them like this and then I have the electric screwdriver this I did a video where I um, replaced this with uh, this is nickel Calium well it doesn't say but I put in two lithium ion batteries in this and it has been working well ever since even though it, it could run faster that would be nice the two batteries in there is in um, in parallel maybe if I had run them in series I would have got more speed out of it I don't like those HP trays that much actually um, I like this better they um, they don't fall apart um, I don't know if I could just not put in that metal thing in the HP's then they might actually be okay but I am not sure why that metal thing is there so so far I haven't left it out of there 
This is a lot of work and it's not the first time that these drives are shifting spots. Uh, they actually came out of these and I put them in the HPs and now they're going back in. That's a lot of forth and back. So, yeah, I have four because I had already taken one out. So, yeah. I'm mounting four and there is 24 that needs to go in that lower box, so it's a lot of work. and with a little movie magic and time has passed these are the last four drives that are actually going in I cheated a little bit you didn't get to see all the screws go in I'm sorry there's no doubt about it this looks cool as hell and now that it's not all one terabyte and 600 gigabytes well, it's also a decent amount of uh, storage space that is in there. So yeah, this is a lot more fun than 600 gigabytes and one terabyte drives. Uh, let's go to the computer and see if it, it sees these first 24 drives. So we moved into the computer here and I have um, Open Media Vault open behind me. I got some help on Discord last night. We're messing around with this Open Media Vault to see if, if it would do what I wanted it to do. And uh, it, uh, it doesn't exactly do what I actually would like it to do. So I might be looking around for something else to put on here. Uh, I might go and shift to Unraid at some point to try that out and see if that will do what I wish it to do. The idea is that I have seen Windows Storage Pool and that is smart in the regard that you take all your drives of different sizes and just put them in the pool. And then from the pool you can make volumes. And these volumes you can decide, well this volume is very secure, we need that to be on a RAID 6 or this volume doesn't matter at all, put it on a RAID 0, we don't care if we lose it all, but Windows will manage that. It will just, oh we have this pool of disks, if we need to make a RAID 6, well I will divide the disks up and make a virtual RAID 6 and uh, present that to the user and that is secure and I will handle that in the background. And I was hoping that Open Media Vault would do something similar, but it doesn't do it doesn't do it right out of the box. ZFS will get me a long way in that direction, but it's missing the last little bit. And we were messing around with my Open Media Vault here and seeing what possibilities there was, and we um, kind of came to the conclusion that it, it felt a little bit short of what I needed. But it's very good at seeing the drives that I've installed. So if we bring that over here, we can see the first four drives are 100 gigabytes and that's the flash card that I have in there. Then we have a three terabyte. This is actually a Hitachi drive. It was a drive that was bad and I, I've, well, I, it has predicted failures. Then there's a 10 terabyte. There's a lot of three terabytes. All this page, the rest is three terabytes. And that is page one of two, so we can go to the next page. There. And we have additional 10 terabytes, a 12 terabyte, and a 10 terabyte. And then I have a 500 gigabyte, 2.5 inch hard drive for where there is some windows on server 2019. So it actually sees all the drives. And I have also been able to select the drives and select this wipe feature up here. So I can wipe the drives, which I have done on all of them. It didn't want to do anything with the drives before it was wiped. So after that, I could go over here to the rate management and I could create a rate and uh, it sees the drives here and I can, I can add those. Um, what we did yesterday was to add some plugins here. We, uh, 
we added a plugin and that made me able to do this logical volume manager and uh, we played around with that so we have um, added 10 terabytes three uh, three terabytes and we have created a disk group that one it was possible to put all the drives inside this disk group no problem whatsoever and then i was also able to create a logical volume on top of that disk group there but there is no protection on this whatsoever if we go over here to the physical volumes we can see that it has put that 8 terabyte volume on the first uh, disk and these are not in use for anything fell a bit short of what i wanted so yeah 8 terabyte there it's called mega store <laughs> oh that's that's actually the disk group it's called mega store and it's on these volumes and there's a logical volume on there and that's that one haven't found any way to put any security on there the cool thing would be if that volume was able to uh, stretch itself on on some of the drives it's just falling ever so slightly short of what i wanted i have just been behind the back of the stores uh, oh this looks so cool and right now it's checking out the drives it's gonna go that 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 and that awesome and i have connected it to the server so when it's done checking the drives we can go and see if they pop up on the computer might have to give it a little bit this rate controller uh, takes its time i don't know what it's doing but it's, uh, it's very thorough this one is complaining hmm on the computer here it's now page one out of three so there is clearly more drives here now so let's have a look we see this drive this drive this drive is in the lvm that is the logical volume management so it's it kind of tells us here that that has already well that is in use so let's go to page number two before there was like four drives here now there is considerably more drives here. Page three, there's a little bit more. Okay, I'll count these. Okay, I don't have to count them. It has already done that. So there is 53 devices in here. I think that might just be the right amount. So just for fun and giggles, I have added the first 24 drives here. It says it down here, 24 is selected. And these are all the drives in the first disk shelf out there and all the drives in the second disk shelf we haven't wiped yet and they don't show up until we do that so if i try to add anything more and devices it will only show me this volume that that i've already made that's that's the, the virtual volume that is that so if i pick that that's gonna be a mess adding a volume that is actually a volume that is already added i don't know why it even shows up it doesn't make much sense to me but um, to get the other drives in here we need to wipe them so we go into drives again and it takes a little bit it's actually quicker today i don't know why but all of these uh, is apparently already in let's refresh all these lvm should be in the pool so all the other ones this one i have added and that's that doesn't say lvm yet so that is ever so slightly weird it seems as if they had just gotten in there kind of randomly i don't know if it's 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 sorted by serial number or what it's sorting it after but it seems very random but all the ones that is not lvm is probably the one that has not been wiped yet so let's just take one of them here that one and we can just wipe it and it will ask us if we are sure because we're gonna mess this up then we can wipe it secure or quick and i'm in a hurry so it's gonna be quick and there is nothing on those drives i have only been playing around with them and it gives us some test results here so that is very nice close and it's um, wiping and it's done so i'm gonna wipe all of them and we'll add those as well after wiping all the drives they now show up in here so i can add them to the logical volume manager or management so uh, now there are suddenly a lot of drives here i hope there is 24 but um, i'll add them and we'll see how many we end up with it sees all 48 drives so now we have a total of 174 terabytes 
of, uh, of storage capacity that we can mess around with. And right now I've only put four of the drives in this uh, volume group. So I think I might want to uh, expand my volume group here. So let's mark it and extend. And we should get a lot of drives so we can select. There is all our drives. I am just gonna select all of them. Can we just do that? We can do that, that's so nice. Okay. All, save. Yeah, that's a lot more drives. It says uh, 158 terabytes and there is 150 terabytes free. Now they're all part of the mega store. Now I could go in and I could create a virtual volume, a logical volume of 150 terabytes if I wanted to. This is of course the most unsecure thing that you can ever do in here. I've just put 48 drives in one pool and if I make a 150 terabyte drive across all of those drives, well if just one of them fails, I could be um, in a huge amount of trouble. In reality, I would go down here in the RAID Manager and I would make RAID sets of some of the drives. Okay, my virtual volume shows up in here, so if I had five virtual volumes, I could I could do RAID across them. Uh, in my head, that's the, the wrong way around, but I might have just gotten this wrong. But Open Media World has a lot of nice features. I actually think it sees the drives really nicely. Compared to all the messing around that I've done on Windows uh, Server 2019, it seems that it, um, it had less problems seeing these drives. These are though also better drives than the ones that I was messing around with in the Windows. Uh, this is not the same drives, it's not the 1 terabytes and the 600 gigabyte SAS drives. Um, these has kind of been okay on whatever I put them in, but it's very nice to not have to deal with all that weird thing. So I have 174 terabytes of data. Um, what would you use 174 terabytes of data on a NAS for? Um, please do leave that in the comments below. I am a bit confused what all of this space would be good for in a home environment. In a work environment, you would most likely have some work-related business to put on there, but, but in a home environment, I am a bit more unsure. But also, I would like to know what would be best for, for this mixing of drives, putting them all in one pool. Do I have to go with TrueNAS or do I have to go with Unraid? Um, or is there an other product that will do this way better? I know the Windows storage pools will do it very nicely, but is there another open source free uh, storage solution that will do the same and not cost anything? Please do leave that in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind giving this video a tiny little like, 174 terabytes, that's a lot of data. You must like that. <laughs> But other than that, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.